Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can hack JWT applications to perform account takeovers. Before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find hidden parameters on web applications and how we can find leaked passwords online, then go ahead and check them out. The link will be given in the description as well as, well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. So yeah, go ahead and check them out. Also, if you are new to our uh, web channel and if you don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then go ahead and type bepractical.tech in your browser as I'm going to show you. We have awesome labs related to cybersecurity as well as web development over there. So you can go ahead and practice your account takeover skills as well as your uh, cybersecurity skills. So let me just try to open it again. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the website right here. So you just need to head to the lab section. Here you can go to cyber section as well as uh, web development section, whatever you want to do. Just click on cyber security for now and you will see right now we have labs related to account takeovers but we are planning to add more labs later on so yeah go ahead and check them out and all these labs are based on real world scenario which means that there there is a hacker that had that had actually found uh, an account takeover vulnerability using this particular method that you will uh, use to solve this particular lab so go ahead and test them out now finally let us try to see that how we can hack into njwt application right so for that you need to head over to this website the link will be given in the description account to go labs and here you have to go to the first link so all these three labs currently are based on jwt so we are trying we are trying to solve the first lab which is the shinigami lab over here so just click on this and you will be redirected to the lab as you can see here's the lab now in order to find account takeover vulnerability what we need basically we need an endpoint and functionality that deals directly or indirectly with the authentication flow right so here we have three things that are dealing with the authentication flow the login functionality the sign up functionality and a forgot password functionality right now uh, first of all we need to create an account over here so i have already created mine so i'm not gonna create again but you need to create an account in order to test the functionality uh, with depth right now let us see how the authentication works when we provide a credential a valid credential basically so let me fire up my burp suit so just align it perfectly yeah and let me provide my email address and my password to see how it works so let's turn on the intercept click on sign in and as you can see this is the request which is going to this particular endpoint the host name is bepractical.tech let us see the response and let's forward this request yeah so as you can see over here in the response we got a JWT token right so JWT stands for JSON web token and as you can see we can identify JWT tokens by uh, seeing the three dots one dot number two only two dots basically so this first one defines which type of algorithm this particular jwt is using the second one is the payload where all data uh, comes into place and the third uh, dot the third data is what we call the signature which is the encrypted form of these two these previous two uh, data right so let us forward this and let's see how the application is behaving to it so as you can see we got logged in into the account and now what we need to do let us intercept this request is forward this and let us try to intercept the home page yeah so as you can see over here we have this home page uh, I think I need to forward this again uh, let us wait for a few seconds okay nice now let's intercept this so as you can see we got over here and now let's send this to repeater so that we can analyze it more with more depth right so just send this and let us try to understand how the application is working right so over here if you analyze the cookies we can see there is a jwt parameter which equals to some jwt token right so what we can do we can just copy all this and just copy this and 
Over here we can go to a website which is known as jwt.io and we can simply just paste the particular token. So just control V and as you can see now we were able to decode the data right. So in the header we have the algorithm type JWT and the algorithm is HS512 and we have payload which contains data so the email address is fiya star 786 the email address that we have provided basically we are authorized using that email address and we have uh, so that's it that's all we have because this signature is encrypted in hs512 algorithm uh, which means sha uh, 256 basically right now sorry uh, sha 512 encryption has been used to encrypt the signature now we need to have a secret key so that we can generate our own signature right to find the secret key since we know that hs256 in a, or hs512 they both uses some kind of signature so the key to decrypt uh, decrypt a jwt and encrypt a jwt will be same unlike the other uh, asymmetric encryption like rs256 or rs512 now since we know that in hs512 the keys will be same for signing the JWT and de uh, decrypting the JWT, right? So our goal is to find the secret key. Now, many times what will happen is that the application may be leaking some sensitive uh, keys in some directories. So we need to brute force it in order to find it. So you can go ahead with Go Buster, DIR Buster, etc. So in this case, I al already know where the data has been leaked. So I'm just gonna go to the file which is web.config. And if you check over here, as you can see, these keys are getting leaked, right? So we need to test each of these keys. Now you may be thinking that all these keys are encrypted, are uh, random values, right? But they are not. They are encrypted in base 64 like this particular token. So let us copy one of these. And in the decoder, let us paste one of these and let's try to decode it as base 64. Right, so as you can see, we got this data. There we go again in plain text, right? So there may be a possibility that they are using this particular value as their secret key, right? So what we can do now, we can just from here, we can just modify the email address to anything that we want, like admin at the rate, uh, be practical dot tech, because we know we need to hack the admin's account, right? Now, once we have done that, what we need to do here, as you can see here, it is asking for the secret key and we can just paste it over here. So we can just type there. We go again, right? And now we have the JWT token signed, right? Finally, what we can do, we can just copy all this and go to the repeater section and we can paste all of this instead. Let's paste this. So control V and let's send this and let's see what happens. So as you can see, the response is 200. Okay. And if we check the response, as you can see, perfectly, we were able to hack into the admins account, right? Which means that we were able to hack using by abusing the JWT token. So this vulnerability arises because of the weak secret key that they were using, right? So we were able to find a secret key using the directory. Now, in many cases, this can, this can happen. Like once you uh, identify the application and what the application is using, for example, here it is using HS512. From here, we, we can confirm that if we find this token, if we find the public key, we find the secret key, then we can able to sign it by ourselves, right? Or we can even use some techniques to brute force the JWT tokens. And we are going to see that how we can do that later on. And by using that key, we were able to re-sign the JWT token and we have malformed the email from the original email to the admin's account. And therefore we were able to hack into the admin's account. 
now uh, i hope that you have learned something new in this video i hope that you have understood that how we can hack uh, jw tokens so we are going to continue with this series and we are going to learn some more ways to hack into jwt labs jwt tokens basically so till now if you have any doubts if you have any issues then make sure to leave your doubts in the comment section also uh, do join our telegram channel if you want to be stay updated with the latest uh, trends and technologies in cyber security as well as web development or if you want to uh discuss something related to something like cyber security like web web hacking web development etc right so make sure to go ahead and join our telegram channel and with that being said thanks for watching